Magnets are strong. Sok went to the library with his mom today. He borrowed several books from the library. As soon as he got home, he opened one of the books. He liked the title of the book. He looked at a picture of a magnet shaped like a stick. There were many things stuck to it. The picture made Suk curious. That looks fun. I want to do that too. Suk asked his mom to give him a magnet. So his mom gave him a bottle opener stuck to the freezer. There was a magnet attached to the other side of the bottle opener. Don't fool around with it, understand? However, this magnet was not the same one from the book, but it was enough. This magnet was strong, too. Oh, not again! There's a magnet in the refrigerator? Suk wanted to check if it was true. He had to satisfy his curiosity. Suk searched every corner of his house. He took out all of the things that he saw in the book. He took things apart, cut them up, pounded them, and threw them around. He also opened and closed the refrigerator door more than ten times. Aha! So that's where the magnet was. Suk was very happy. What's all this? Oh, you! Mom is very scary when she gets angry. So quickly sat down and quietly read the book on magnets. Then Sok saw a bunch of paper clips stuck to a magnet. He couldn't sit still. It was like magic to him. Just try and make a mess again, boy. Although Sok didn't have a bar magnet, that didn't mean he wouldn't give up. He took a donut-shaped magnet. Then he asked his mom to tie the magnet with a thread. Of course, with a sweet voice. And the clips stuck just like this. Wow! It really sticks! Suk's eyes were wide open. Sometimes they push each other away, and sometimes they stick together? How can he be sure without trying it himself? But there were no bar magnets at home. So he... Where are you going? Gosh, you're impossible. Magnets were really strong. When it's different colors, it would pull toward one another. When it's the same color, it would push away from each other. What in the world is he doing? Oh, little troublemaker. Sok got a great idea. Magnets are very powerful and useful. Mom, this is for you. Did you make it yourself? This is great! He borrowed several books from the library. As soon as he got home, he opened one of the books. He looked at a picture of a magnet shaped like a stick. There was a magnet attached to the other side of the bottle opener. However, this magnet was not the same one from the book. He also opened and closed the refrigerator door more than ten times. Mom is very scary when she gets angry. So quickly sat down and quietly read the book on magnets. Then he asked his mom to tie the magnet with a thread. Of course, 
with a sweet voice. Sometimes they push each other away, and sometimes they stick together. When it's different colors, it would pull toward one another. When it's the same color, it would push away from each other. There are many uses for magnets. There are also many things around us that use magnets. Refrigerator doors close by themselves because of the rubber magnets attached to the doors. Magnets have two poles. When we attach metal clips to a bar magnet, most of the clips stick to either end of the magnet. The ends where the clips stick to are the magnet's poles. Magnets also have strange characteristics. When you put two bar magnets together, the same poles push away from each other and the different poles stick together. Magnets are very useful. It's easy to open and close wallets and pencil cases when they have magnets on them.